All right, turning now to Arizona, which has certified its 2022 midterm results following pushback from election deniers. At an event in Phoenix yesterday, Secretary of State and Governor-elect Katie Hobbs, along with Governor Doug Ducey and Arizona's Attorney General, signed documents to certify results from, that, from the state's 15 counties. It's a routine step in Arizona's election process that was delayed after some Republicans claimed without evidence that there were problems with the vote count. At yesterday's ceremony, Hobbs spoke about the importance of protecting democracy. As we've learned these past few years, protecting our democracy requires everyone's participation to help discern truth from fiction. Arizona had a successful election. But too often throughout the process, powerful voices proliferated misinformation that threatened to disenfranchise voters. Democracy prevailed, but it's not out of the woods. 2024 will bring a host of challenges from the election denial community that we must prepare for. Meanwhile, Republican Carrie Lake, who lost the race for governor, has suggested in recent days that she will file a lawsuit protesting Arizona's election results. Joining, joining us now, Arizona Secretary of State-elect Democrat Adrian Fontes. Thank you for coming back on the show. Good to see you. Um, Always I guess happy I'd to be here. I'd like to start with your reaction to Carrie Lake's potential plans. Well, I think most of those plans have been laid in Mar-a-Lago since that's where she's spent a heck of a lot of time since the election. Uh, look, Arizona's elections are fair, uh, they're clean, they're solid, they're accountable, and they are secure. Uh, Secretary, now Governor-elect Hobbs and I met after that ceremony. Uh, she said that Governor Ducey uh, was doing what he could to make sure her transition of power uh, up to the ninth floor from the seventh floor was solid. Uh, and she also uh, visited with me in her office on the seventh floor to make sure my mm -hmm. transition was solid. So the noise on the sidelines, uh, I don't think anybody's paying too much attention to it. Except there was a delay of the ceremony. What do you make of that delay? And how important was that ceremony symbolically at this time in our country's history? Well, it's too bad that we have to make hay uh, about something that's relatively mundane and mostly administrative. Uh, the certification by the secretary, the witnessing of that certification by the governor and the attorney general uh, are, are, are things that have happened year in and year out, cycle in and cycle out for decades and decades uh, since statehood. Uh, and it was never a big deal. So uh, whether or not it was delayed uh, for an hour or a day uh, really is irrelevant. The fact of the matter is mm -hmm. it is done. 2022 is over. But for our recounts now uh, that we have to deal with uh, and and we're going to move on. Mr. Secretary-elect, I don't want to amplify the conspiracy theories that are out there, but as you've said many times, you've got to fight back against this with facts and true information. Okay. So uh, the conspiracy theory that Carrie Lake is pushing it has to do with the printers on Election Day in Maricopa County. What is the truth about what happened there? Well, the truth about what happened has been addressed uh, thoroughly and completely uh, by the Maricopa County uh, election officials, the Board of Supervisors, the County Recorder, uh, and the co-election directors. Uh, we will continue to move forward to improve systems in Arizona. One of my first agenda items as Secretary of State will be to get to every single one of our 15 counties very soon, talk with those officials and make sure they've got the support they need from the state to see that those these sorts of things don't happen again. In fact. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be speaking with the county recorders at the Arizona Association of County Officials. They're the ones that need this support uh, across Arizona, and I'm going to be happy to give it to them. Mr. Secretary of State-elect, congratulations. You tweeted in the last 24 hours uh, that 20, the 2022 election was only the first battle uh, in election deniers' war against American democracy. Arizona, of course, a major battleground state, going to be hotly contested for 2024. President Biden, as an aside, will be there today. What are some steps that that can be put in place to safeguard the elections in Arizona in 2024 to make sure that they are indeed fair and freely contested, but also to prevent election deniers to causing more trouble. Well, first and foremost, we're not just going to call them election deniers. They are MAGA fascists. They don't care about American voters. They don't even care about their own voters uh, based on the delay that we saw in Cochise County, which is a heavily Republican county in southeastern Arizona. Uh, and, and, and so we're going to attack their lies with vigor and with the truth, because we've got uh, the truth on our side. We've got justice on our side. We've got American democracy and American voters on our side. Uh, and so we're going to push as hard as we can against the 
misinformation and disinformation that they continue to peddle with no evidence, no legitimacy, and those lawsuits that are being threatened right now, uh, they, they're not going to go anywhere. So we won't countenance mm. uh, even a short discussion of them. Before the election, Arizona seemed like if anywhere in the country was going to be the location of mass protests and even violence, it seemed primed for it. But that moment really seems like it has passed. Do you think that democracy prevailed this year in Arizona? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, the, 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 the spirit of American democracy is alive and well in Arizona and in every battleground state. Regular Americans want to move away from the nonsense, the chaos, the unpredictability. They want to move towards government that's going to help them prosper, help them have opportunities for themselves and their families, uh, help them live happy, healthy lives. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And I hope we can move our focus away from the nonsense uh, and into governing for all Americans. Arizona's Democratic Secretary of State-elect, Adrian Fontes, thank you very much. We appreciate your being on this morning.